so how crazy is your life now since starring in Runaways? I mean, you've been to Comic-Con, you've even got your own Funko Pop. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, I, I guess in terms of that stuff, it's definitely ramped up. <laughs> um, but, you know, I, I, I keep my, my, my close circle um, near me and, and my, my, the people that I love around me. So in terms of my personal life, nothing too crazy. Sure, I'll get stopped every now and then at a dinner or walking down the street or something. But, uh, you know, it, it, the world hasn't been turned upside down just yet. But do you have the pop is the big question. <laughs> <laughs> I and everybody that I know has the pop. <laughs> nice <laughs> so uh what was it like working with uh the great stan lee oh my god it was amazing um it was it's a memory that i'll you know take with me forever um he came in was extremely giving and gracious um it, you know of course everyone on on set wanted like something signed by him and immediately they told us right out the gate like hey if you want anything signed, send it to us. We'll do it, and we'll you know we'll give it back to you in a couple of days or whatever. Because he always has thousands and thousands of things to sign, and he did, and he was so gracious, and he gave us that. And um, when he came on set, just a giving, you know, he he had his his like little one line on our show, but behind the scenes, you know, he was joking, laughing, taking pictures, having a good time. It was it was it was amazing. Oh wow! I mean, that must have been amazing. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so this season, a big season for you guys. You're finally on the run. Then there was so much more action. How much different was it filming this season to the first? It was pretty. It was pretty different, honestly. The the I feel like the pace picked up a lot, and so we felt that um, while we were shooting, just so many more things were happening, so many bigger, bigger events, and then the stakes were all raised. And we would even get to, I feel like the, the season looks a little different too. Uh, our DP, Dave Fergal, did a great job of, of, of making our show look super cool. Yeah. Um, like have a different feel than the first season. And we got to see that too during the first, like we would go back and see some scenes back. Or we would go and like, at, like just watch uh, our other castmates do their scenes. Um, and you get to feel that there's a difference in description, the writing, there's a difference. And so right out the gate, yes, the season is different. The season is, is much bigger. And that's how exactly how it felt while we were doing it. Yeah. And you finally get a bit of a romance this season, don't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. You get a little redemption song. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Uh, so talking about, say, it's you guys kind of versus your parents. But I bet they're actually really, really nice people in real life. Who do you think has the best parents in the show? The best parents? Parents in the show in terms of the character or the act? Uh, it's the actors. Um, oh, man, that's tough. I love my parents. <laughs> I, but I guess that's an that. easy answer. Yeah. Um, right? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, I really love... Man, that's tough. Um, let me give it some thought. I guess Bridget and Kevin, um, who play Gert and I guess Allegra's adoptive or Ariella's adoptive. So yeah, um, it's uh, I would say uh, the, the Yorks uh, yes. are, are 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 excellent people, and they're incredibly funny on camera as well. <laughs> they seem so nice as well. I mean, they don't seem that evil. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Out of all of them, I guess they seem the less evil. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I agree. But but as we saw in season two, um, you know, some weird things started happening, but it, it, explainable as well. Yeah, definitely. So, how do you how do you, how does it feel like working acting with a scene with old lace? Oh, it's incredible. It's like um, you know, it's it's this whole different. You have to really open up your imagination um, to sharing a scene with a dinosaur, <laughs> yeah. and so it, it it it's actually like um, when you're in it, you sort of imagine what it's all going to look like and what it's going to sound like and how quick she's going to be moving. But when you see, it, it's even more amazing when you get to see it on camera, on, when you actually get to see the, the episode played back, because then it's like, wow, like they, you know, they, they really are able to create something that is as real as it is in my mind. So it's, <laughs> it, 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 it's, ama it's, it's amazing to do. It's even more amazing to watch back. Yeah, I mean, is there actually anything there, or do you just have to act like a tennis ball? Um, <laughs> um, what do you mean? She's real. It's an absolutely real dinosaur. Oh, sorry. sorry. <laughs> right, so your co-star Greg uh, recently had a photo with uh, Cloak and Dagger star Aubrey. Would you like to see the two shows cross over in the future? Oh, that'd be amazing. Yeah, if it were up to me, I guess it would have happened by now. But um, yeah, I guess that's a decision for the higher-ups, the 
the ones making the big money. So um, it's up to them. Fingers crossed. I mean, if you read the original comic, they did kind of make an appearance for a little bit, didn't they? They did. They absolutely did. Yeah, we had a little standoff. All <laughs> up there, six, eight of us. So it's that, I would actually like to see that exact scene play out. I think that would be super cool. But I also feel like that was an older version of uh, Tyrone and Tandy. So we'll see how this world plays out. <laughs> Definitely. Fingers crossed anyway. So we've got to talk about that season finale cliffhanger. I mean, not going into too much spoilers, but one of the kids <laughs> might be an alien. Do you do you hope it will be you so you can kind of act like a different character? Um, I guess the actor part of me, like an actor would like to do a bunch of different things. Sure. I have no idea who who this who this magical alien could be, <laughs> yeah. but he, whoever it is, I feel like that's such like a juicy. There's so there's so much. There's, there's a lot. There's a lot of ways that that storyline could go. You know, now that there's one of theirs in our own in our ranks, and so yeah, I'm excited just to see what the writers are able to do with season. If, if we were if lucky enough to get, I mean, how would we not if we have that cliffhanger, right? Exactly. They have to now at this point. But right. if we are lucky enough to get another season, I would love to see what the seasons, what the creators and writers are able to do with that, you know, that plot. Definitely. And uh, we've got a couple of fan questions. Uh, so one of the main ones that people are asking were, will you ever do a Heroes and Villains fan fest? And if you do, would you come to London? Oh, absolutely. I love London. I've been there once. I went and visited with my friends. Um, when was it? Not 2017, um, just before we started the first season, I went and visited London. I went and visited most of Europe um, with my friends, and I loved it there. So yes, and yes, and, and yes. <laughs> nice. Uh, so another one. Uh, do you ever get jealous of your castmates who get to have powers in the show? But you did get to have the fist guns, didn't you, this season? That's right. I think I complained just enough for them to be <laughs> like, all right, we'll give them one thing at the end. And so, um, yeah, I mean, it's. I, I also like the fact that Alice was able to flex a little bit more of his of his abilities this season as well with the hacking and with getting into the hotel and finding the footage or or with you know turning the the the, the cars around at the Gibbs site that um, and so he he's able to sort of use his his um, his powers a bit more um, you know the, his his abilities to hack and his abilities to sort of think strategically when he gets his parents there at the end. Um, and so I, I enjoyed that, and I also very much enjoyed getting to use those fisticons and getting to play with those. Nice, yeah. Um, so who would you say the joke in the cast is? Um, definitely. I feel like a lot of my castmates might say it's me, oh, but yeah. I feel like, I feel like, um, let me think, either, I, I guess Allegro would come in at the close second. Oh. Okay. So what would yeah. you say your favorite, favorite scene was to film? Oh, my favorite scene to film, man. Um, the, the driving scene at the end was probably the most fun I had. Yeah, I um, think that was great. Getting to do those, yeah, getting to do those stunts. Um, they sort of put me, the, the, the way that we did the stunt was I got to sit in the driver's seat while the car was moving so i wasn't really controlling the car um but i got to sit in it as we were packing the cars as we were moving as i was doing the turns around the corners as i was accelerating so it was as exciting as doing it (laughs) but uh so so that was my favorite getting to sit there in that seat while you know it's like a roller coaster ride nice Uh, and your character has just returned in the comics um how do you feel about your character in the tv version compared to the comic version you said he just appeared in the comics yeah he's just returned in the new run actually really what what's his role what's what's happening with him i don't know too much but he's obviously back yeah yeah. (laughs) so how do i feel about his tv version versus this new comic version yeah i guess i don't know too much about the new comic version so i wouldn't know how to feel against it but in terms of how I feel about his TV version, I think I, I think he's a pretty layered character. I feel like a lot of the times he just kind of wants this other, you know, this other being in his life, just another connection with somebody. He tries to find, you know, he has it sort of at first with Nico, and then that sort of falls apart, and then he sort of tries to find it with Darius, and that sort of falls apart, um, you know, due to the other events. And then he finds it again with Livy, and that sort of falls apart. So over and over again, he's continues trying to find you know someone to just pour his his heart into and to, and to give a love and affection towards and and it keeps turning back on him so i feel like those events have sort of caused him to to close up a bit 
to be a little harder, I guess, um, more of a shell, more of a wall. So I, I feel like his, his sort of personality is changing as the season goes on. It's an arc. And so I think the writers are doing a good job of, of, of displaying that and showing that. But, yeah, still I feel like he's a very a, a pretty one-track-minded guy. And when he has his goal, he will achieve it, you know, no matter what, which is admirable, in my opinion. <laughs> yeah. uh, last one. Um, is anything next in the pipeline for you? And what can fans look forward to from you next? Um, I, I, no, nothing I can say just yet. <laughs> oh, OK. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Where can people find you on social media? Um, my name, Renzi Feliz, um, at Renzi Feliz, pretty uh, straightforward. Well, thank you so much for joining us on the show today. Thank you. I appreciate it.